Brief Candles is a short dramatical work in the verse tradition. It was written by Lawrence Bignon and published by the Golden Cockerel Press in 1938 in two states, a limited edition of 100 copies and an unlimited edition. Here I'll be looking at the limited edition. At about 14 by 11 centimetres and just 51 pages, this is a modest volume by almost any standard. At first glance it can appear quite dull, but let that cloth of gold catch the light and fire. The title is stamped in gold on the spine over a printed blue background. The book was bound at Sangorsky and Sutcliffe and is stamped to this effect on the front paste down. It is printed on sheets of Arnold's handmade paper whose top edge is gilded. There's also a powder blue ribbon marker. Overall, like most golden cockerel books, this one feels a bit rough and unrefined, but it's all the more charming for it. Inside we find the text is Caslon's old face in 11 point. This is a sensible size of type for a book of these dimensions. There are six engravings by Helen Bignon, daughter of the author and respected artist in her own right. These include a title page vignette and five others that occupy a half or full page. These images effectively illustrate the story in a suitably dark fashion. The book's 51 pages are split roughly in half. The first 20 contain a preface by the author. The rest of the book is given to the play. It's a new and somewhat novel retelling of an episode from Richard III's rise to power, mostly through the eyes of Richard's mother, Cecily. It's a short work that would probably amount to one or two scenes from a full-length play. The book ends with a colophon page that is signed by both the author and the illustrator.